the men are coming on deck now for the final in the hundred fly. And we have had a change in the order simply because Dilo of Peru, who should have been in the middle of this pool, has been suspended because he tested positive for a banned substance. We've been told that it was Sanazanol and that he was pulled out of this. He will lose his silver medal on the opening night, which means Canada's Alec Cage, who is fourth, will move up to third. Canada's Zach Sestrat will move up to second. And Eugene Godfell moves over from lane eight to lane one, and everybody switches lanes. And that was the confusion in the B final, because they had to take a man out of that and put him into the A final. Lane number two, Sancho Condorelli from Canada. 20 years of age, originally his mother is from Kenora, but he's lived all over the world, and now he's swimming for Canada. This is his first national team for Canada. Long Yuan Gutierrez from Mexico, 20 years of age. He just missed the final in the 200 meter fly, so he made sure this morning that he was going to be in the A final. He's his best time by a second and a half to get into this A final. Giles Smith from the United States, 23 years of age, 5 foot 10 inches. A little bit smaller than most of the international swimmers, but he's got a lot of power. You can see that powerful frame. Originally from Baltimore, he's now training down at the University of Arizona. Santiago Grassi, the Argentinians are having a whale of a meet on their men's team. He's 18 years of age. He did his national record this morning as well. Broke it, he broke his by half a second. Here's a veteran, 28 years of age, Albert Suberet from Venezuela. He won this event four years ago and won a bronze medal eight years ago. He's been on the scene for quite a while. He trains in Arizona. Arthur Mendez will have lane number seven. He's a 21-year-old from Brazil. He goes to school at Auburn University. He was at the World Juniors back in 2011. Arthur Mendez. And here's the man that wasn't going to be in the final, Luis Martinez. He was supposed to be in the B final consolation, but he got bumped up when Fiol was pulled out of the race. He's from Guatemala, 19 years of age, and he was in the B final in the 200 free. He's now in the A final. The U.S. have won seven gold in this event, 15 medals. Their first goal with the Mark Spitz back in 67. And my partner in the broadcast booth won Canada's first ever medal in this event. Byron McDonald was bronze in 1971. Here in 2015, the men are getting set for the final of the 100 fly. Giles Smith of the U.S. will have lane four. He did a 52-1-3 in the heat this morning. Two lengths of the pool. This is the final of the men's 100 fly. And the swimmers have to come up by 15 meters. Look like a good clean start. A lot of speed in this race, but I think it's going to come down to the last five meters. We've got the extra legs, the extra power, and times the wall properly because it's going to be a very, very close race. A lot of these gentlemen are within three or four tenths of their best time. Heading to the wall. They touch turnover and have less than 50 to go. Tonto Condorelli of Canada in front. Subarak in second, and Grassi sitting in third. Condorelli is having a whale of a meal. I don't know if he's got the second 50 that some of these other swimmers do, but he's giving it a shot right now. Here comes Giles Smith in the middle in lane number four. He's got a historic, really good back half, and that's what he's showing. This is going to be a close finish in the men's 100 fly. They drive to the wall. It looks like Smith at the top. It is. Smith number one. Grassi number two. And Condorelli, number three, a Pan Am record for Joe Smith, the 23-year-old from Baltimore. And it was that second 50. Boy, he went out right with everybody, but he annihilated everybody coming home. And then with about five meters to go, Giles Smith was really having a bit of trouble, and he just got himself to the wall and got his hands up. What? That right there. You're going to see a white line come up right there. That's the 15-meter mark. The judges watch for that. Here's the halfway mark, and Giles Smith was not leading at the halfway mark. He actually misjudged his turn a little bit, had to kick in and glide, but then off the wall, he turned on the jet, and he was able to get to the wall. Now watch his last two strokes. He's so short, and he can't even get another stroke, and he kicks to the wall, but he kicked to the wall. Young swimmers will get to this point where Giles Smith is, and they'll glide to the wall. Big, powerful kick to the wall, and he was able to get the gold medal because of that. The Argentinian, the silver, I said, the Argentinians are having a great meet, and Sando Condorelli, not even on the radar as a butterfly or a year ago, was able to come in for a surprise bronze medal for Canada. And how close was it? How about five one-hundredths of a second? Thank you very much, says Giles Smith. 
of the United States. He did 52-1-3 in the heat, but turned it on in the final when he needed to, and he gets the gold medal in the men's 100 fly. And silver to Grassi of Argentina with a time of 52.09. 52.42 is good enough to give Santo Condarelli of Canada the bronze in the men's 